you know, you look at the stat sheet, I think it's heck of a ball game. And uh, yet, uh, you know, there's there's really no substitute. I guess the, the object's putting that, that, that round ball in the basket. And, you know, we're number two in the Big Ten in field goal percentage. And tonight was one of those nights. And, uh, you know, 14 assists, eight turnovers, 20 offensive rebounds against the Tom Izzo team. I'll take that every night. And yet, uh, could make a basket, could make a shot. I liked our shots. I liked where we were at. Uh, tough night for Kofi. Uh, he'll bounce back. But, um, you know, it was a night that, uh, uh, you know, Cassius does what Cassius does and, and was, was terrific. And, and, uh, and then we let uh, you know, Xavier have a, have a big night. But, uh, uh, and I was really impressed with Bingham. And the job he did on both ends of the court in terms of, of, of creating space. I thought his rebounding was important. I blocked one of Kofi's shots early. Uh, his length was, was, was a factor. Coach, over your left. I'm going to walk you gingerly here. I know you have to be careful. But the last play of the first half, did you get any explanation on when they called your guy for the fall in that half court shot? No. 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 no I, I got a 24-hour moratorium before I can call the league office and talk, ask about that. But uh, you know, I, I, I've always assumed that when you shoot, you have to land in the same spot that you come down in, and if not, there's an opportunity to take a charge. But uh, anyway, right here, Coach. Just a year ago, you had a really hard-fought game with your team against the Michigan State team that had lottery picks and things like that. What do you think was the difference between uh, last season and this season? Uh, we made shots. Uh, you know, I, I mean, it's hard to compare one game to the next because of, you know it's 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 a different it's a different vibe. It's a different feel, and, and I liked our looks. And, and you know, I thought Cassius was was tremendous early, and obviously coming back off a game he didn't play. Um, but uh, uh, you know, it's a I think it's a four or five point six point game. You know, and, and there's a three-minute segment where it goes 15 to three run, and that's the ball game. And, and uh, uh, you can't do that on the road in terms of not make shots consistently. I, you know, I want to tell my guys, well, offensive rebound and go get them. Well, we got 20 of them, and uh, you know that's why we're one of the top rebounding teams in the country. And uh, yeah, we didn't make those. We didn't make free throws. Uh, it's hard uh, to put guys in places when that ball just doesn't go in. And, Tonight wasn't our night, and, and we'll uh, uh, we'll shoot the ball better next time we play, and we'll try to go get 20 offensive rebounds again if we miss that many. Excellent. Threes aren't falling. Is there an adjustment a player seem to make, or just uh, to the offense in general, just to maybe counteract that somehow? I mean, it's. I mean, let's see. We got 12 looks for Cook Georgie. We got uh, 10 shots for for Kofi. We got we're five of 22 from our bigs. Again. George took a couple threes, which we didn't really have to take. But uh, gosh, I mean, I think we had a lot of points in the paint. That's why we're number two in the league in field goal percentage. But uh, you can't go out there and make them. Give their defense a ton of credit. Uh, but uh, you know, it's Tom's. It's like Tom said. They had the same game against Duke. You know, we can make a shot. And you have those nights, and tonight was our night. Coach, uh, big picture, you like the fight and the talent that you've got here to work with uh, in terms of, you know, looking at this, where your program is right now? Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I, you know, you've got a, you've got a guy that, uh, you know, we're, we're number one in the country in rebounding. Uh, we're still a very young team on paper. Uh, you've got a, uh, uh, you know, a guy in Iowa who's continuing to get better. I mean, Alan Griffin is, is, is growing into a terrific player. Uh, he's only a sophomore. Uh, you know, you got Trent Frazier who had a tough night shooting, but but is terrific. So I, I'm I feel great about where we're where we're going. Georgie's been uh, you know proven he can be a uh, an All Big Ten caliber player. So uh, I love our recruiting class and and uh, where we continue to grow and add pieces there. So uh, Andre Cabello was last two tournaments he's been in has been MVP in both of them and playing himself into a McDonald's All-American nomination, so yeah, I love the work. Continuing with the youth theme, I assume 
when you see Georgie have three turnovers because he's trying to feed uh, Kofi, and people complain about that on social media, I think what you're probably looking at is they're learning their timing against top defenses and it doesn't bother you as much. Well, I have no idea what happened on social media because I'm not on it, but uh, I'll take your word for that. that uh, you know, somebody's got to have something to complain about on social media. So, uh, Georgie's also one of our top assist guys, and he's going to have a couple turnovers a game. Uh, I think on paper, Spencer Tillman averages close to three turnovers a game, which is the same as number. Georgie, wonder if their fans are, you know, but so I have no idea what you're talking about. But uh, anyway, Georgie's a heck of a player. I know that. Yeah, go ahead. Um, maybe I should say that 20 assists on 26 mates, what made them really tough to get stops against? Yeah, they're number one in the country. They're number one in the country in assists. They're number one in the country in assisted rate field goals. Uh, when you have, I'll give Magic his due. Magic's the best point guard to ever play here. That, that young man's probably the next best point guard to play here. He's special. He's absolutely special. He has everything that you don't have to coach. And from an offensive standpoint, he is brilliant. And uh, and then they grow. And again, they're they're a team that uh, you don't rattle. And uh, offensively, they, they do a great job of sharing with each other. They all know the roles. And and, uh, and and you get 20 assists when the ball goes in. And they did that tonight. Allen's only minus three and plus minus. What is he giving you right now? And does he need a bigger role in this team? I think he's playing into that. There's no doubt. And. Uh, I don't know what were his minutes tonight. Uh, I can't read that far without my glasses. Uh, yeah, 25 minutes. That's a good number. That's a good number. It's, it's, uh, yeah, we're trying to get him shots. We, we ran two or three sets out of place to get him, to get him looks. And, uh, uh, but yeah, he's playing into a, a big part of what we do. He's a guy that we like to run and, and, and create opportunities for. And, uh, but his effort. He just plays, man. He just plays with a fire and a careless, carefree attitude no matter what the situation is. He loves to compete, and, and I have, have a lot of respect for that. Sat Kofi for the end of the first half with two fouls. What's your just consider it in the process like that when you decide? I mean, if they come back with two, if they don't. Well, I've always sat him, um, especially when they're freshmen. And, uh, you know, he picked up one that was a little ticky tack, I think, in the first half, a little shove, and then the second was trying to block a shot. But uh, uh, I've always said him, uh, you know, I knew we could, we fought back, we had it to six, uh, two possession game. You're, you're going to need those guys. <coughs> if it had gone the other way, maybe it had gotten away a little bit, and they had put him, put him back in, but it's always time and situation, time and score. I just want to clarify, my question before wasn't really about social media, it's about having patience for youth coming together, mm -hmm. gelling as a team, and what you see, you know, now 14 games in or whatever, with the clicking <coughs> and, a lot of those team. and the, yeah. the need to develop that timing. So if we're sitting in here tonight and we shot 48 or 50 percent, we've got a different deal. I, I loved what we got offensively tonight. I loved where we were. I thought we made some mistakes defensively that we had not been making, but um, as I'll take 20 offensive rebounds, I'll take eight turnovers on the road. Um, you know, the only thing I don't like about tonight is we didn't shoot the ball, we lost. And, uh, but and I can't control shooting the basketball, I can control the shots we got, and, and I feel great about where we're getting this from. This will be our last question. The first night, maybe Kobe just struggled to finish at the rim. When you attribute that to, is that something? Yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, again, he's seen size before, but, um, you know, he just a little bit out of rhythm and, and you know, had a, had, a, had a couple that didn't go his way early and, and uh, uh, you know, we were sure trying to get to him and trying to establish that. He's been a big reason we're, we're one of the top field goal percentage offenses in the league. And, and, uh, but, uh, you know, again, it's... I'll look at the film and, and, and see what he did, but uh, the boy has two or three point blank ones when he made nice moves. And uh, you know he's a freshman; he's 13 games and he'll learn to he'll learn to finish those. Thank you. Well, Alan and I also have a lot of Anybody want to repeat them again?